Scott McGregor here with Rapid Media TV, and I'm here in the Algonquin Outfitters booth at the 2016 Outdoor Adventure Show. Randy, you and I were chatting um, off camera, and we were chatting about um, what people ask you when they come up to you yeah, in yeah. the AO booth. And Lots of different things. One of the big questions was, like, where's the best place to go in Algonquin Park? And your answer to that is? Well, my answer is, is it really depends on, on where you go kind of thing. So there's not really one best place. But why, do, crazy why, why thing, do people think there is? Yeah, you know what? It's, it's their buddy told them that this is the best place to go, and they just want reassurance that we think the same thing and that. And Algonquin Park is really, really big. It's, it's just an amazing place to go. It's almost the same size as the island of Jamaica. So we have a map on the counter. I quite often put my hands down and go, like, this is the GTA for it. It's such a big area that you can just spend an entire lifetime And the GTA it. is smaller. Oh, yeah, it's a small part of the park kind of thing for it. Um, so, I mean, if you think of the island of Jamaica, if you went on vacation to Jamaica and you go to a resort, you know, that first time experience is, is probably a great one. And you think that's the best place to go. And that's what we see a lot of is people come to the park, they go to a certain lake and they had a great experience and they think that's the best place to go. Where really, if they had picked any other kind of place, they probably would have had a great experience. It might have been a little different, but it would have been a great experience. And that would have been their best place to go. So I tell people all the time that I, I probably could have taught everybody a different spot at the show and like you know have 50 or 60 different spots and just go this is the best one so then what do you tell them how do you get somebody and I get it I mean I understand people are wanting to you know if they have five days yeah um, and they're gonna get out of the city and they're gonna go to Algonquin Park they want to go to a great spot yeah, yeah they, so, they want a wonderful lake view and a beautiful sunset right. and a nice little fire pit and that so then what do you tell them that's man? every campsite in the park that's so go, or, any, go anywhere and yeah, have yeah. A great time. so so what we really do is we do custom trips for it so we work with them to discover what their expectations are you know what do you want to do do you want to you know do you want to have flush toilets a lot of people still want to have some of the car creature comforts at home in that with it so maybe that's a car camping campground and maybe it's day trips out to see some wildlife do some paddling maybe mountain bike an old railway trail and go to the museums and stuff like that and other people want to have a real wilderness experience where they get out there and they feel like they're away from the city and away from other people and they're experiencing something themselves and that and you know maybe getting those to nose with some wildlife in that so it's it depends on what the experiences that people want and that's what we do we do custom trips for it right. so. I guess best place to go it depends on what they really want yeah yeah my I've, I probably spent uh, probably 400 days on trip in the park over the years and that um, and I still haven't explored the entire park there's spots that I haven't been to but what what my expectations on a trip is a little different you know seeing wildlife isn't a high priority for me because I know that the wildlife is just gonna happen you know if you go somewhere it doesn't really matter where you go the chance of seeing something is probably still pretty great right. you just appreciate that I get a little bit more into the history now so I, I like discovering a lot of the old history and some of the things that you know a lot of the tourists will never see in the park and that so it evolves over the years and the, the nice thing is is it's such a diverse area and such a large area that you can spend a lifetime coming back over and over again and still still discover something new discover the new best place yeah 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 randy thank you very much Excellent. for taking the Thanks. time and enjoy the rest of the show cool thank you S scott mcgregor here in the algonquin outfitters booth for rapid media tv hoping you paddle forever